What's up everybody? Welcome back to a whole nother video here on Charleston Car Videos. Now I wouldn't have picked this Chrysler PT Cruiser to film, but we've got a PT Cruiser video on the channel currently that's doing great, getting tons of great reviews on it. And I said to myself when I saw this car, I said there's something about these PT Cruisers people love. And one guy told me that it was America's worst vehicle ever, and a lot of people told me that that's actually not the case. But with no further ado, let's take a look at a 2003 Chrysler PT Cruiser. So the 2003 Chrysler PT Cruiser is on the platform of the 2003 Dodge Neon. Many of you may remember the Dodge Neon as you're seeing on the screen right now. So, the Dodge Neon was a pretty good selling vehicle. Why wouldn't the PT Cruiser be a pretty good selling vehicle? Well, it was a good selling vehicle. Now the PT Cruiser that is here before you today was actually traded in at this dealership and it's actually getting ready this week, which comes tomorrow morning, is being sent out to a local automotive auction. So this won't be a vehicle you'll have a chance at buying unless you literally let me know immediately. But back in 03, thousands upon thousands of these were sold and flooded into the market here in the United States of America. You know, they were also uh, fleet vehicles, rental vehicles. I mean, people bought them for their businesses. They would put graphics down the side of it and really have good advertisement on the side of your PT Cruiser. And I'm going to show you today why this vehicle actually was a great selling car. And it might be kind of an ugly vehicle, as I used to think, like who in the heck would drive one of these? I actually had a friend in the car club back in the day that had a dark navy blue one with 13 by 5 inch Dayton alloy wheels on it. For some of y'all that are into the low riders, you know, with the hydraulics, Dayton wire wheels were the, some of the most expensive wire wheels you could put on a vehicle, but this guy had wire rims on his PT Cruiser, which made it look kind of cool. Skateboarding on the sides. So let's start looking at the 03 PT Cruiser a little more in depthly here, right? And check it out. And let's see how the condition has held up on it. It's gotten pretty old. It actually has 197,000 miles on it. And when I say it was traded in, I mean it, folks. I mean, this car was on the roads here in Charleston, South Carolina, being driven, and somebody traded it in to get a car out here on the lot. So. You know, it must have been doing something right for all these years. So anyways, there's the front grille. I mean, again, it wasn't the most attractive of vehicles, you know. You didn't look at it and say, oh man, that PT Cruiser is sexy. No, you didn't, did you? Not usually. But I'll show you when we get on the inside of this car why so many people bought these vehicles here in the United States of America. Now this car here would look perfect with some roof racks up on the top and a surfboard, right? And I'm sure there's a lot of people that probably have seen these in the little beach cities and stuff all around the coast of the United States of America with surfboards up top, especially the version like this that's got this wood paneling down the side. Now it's not really real wood, okay? It actually is, well, I don't know. I thought it was vinyl graphics at first, but it actually uh, comes up off the car just a little bit, so it's probably some kind of plastic panel that goes down the side, but I kind of like it, you know? Now, I'm not sure if this color here on the car really flows all that great with the wood paneling here. You know, maybe a white, black, or a burgundy, or I don't know, something like that, but that's the way Chrysler did it back in 03 with this color. I'm sure they did have different colors you could pick from with wood paneling down the sides. It actually has these little six spoke chrome alloy wheels on it. Doesn't look too bad. And let's take a look and see how big these are. 16 inch with a 205-55 series tire on there. Actually has a sunroof up top. Yay. Rear tinted windows. Chrome on the handles. There's the actual Chrysler wheel, so that's actually the original OEM rims that came on this car from the manufacturer. Now this was definitely something that happened on a lot of these cars with the wood paneling or 
is, you know, the sun here in South Carolina is just so hot, it starts to oxidize the vehicle, but gives it that kind of vintage look, doesn't it? It really does. Vintage look. Now, this is the actual limited edition of the PT Cruiser, so I can only imagine this car is probably fully loaded with every feature possible from back in 2003. Well, there's the other rim because, again, the front rim has the donut on it, so they were kind enough to leave us the other wheel. You got your cargo cover. Back seats fold down for a 40-60 back seat split, but this is one of the reasons why so many people bought these cars because it had a lot of room in the back. It's a hatchback, and to me, the PT Cruiser was the car that kind of kick-started the crossover vehicles being sold in America. No power tailgates back in 03 and no backup cameras and let's wait for that fire truck to go by because it's extremely loud but anyways let's take a look at the inside on the PT Cruiser so being a limited edition package I can only assume it's gonna have leather seating on the inside and actually this one looks like it's got suede on the inside and actually feels like real suede it's got cubbyhole spots, or just like most cars nowadays, where you can throw stuff in there. It's got power mirrors, power door locks, power windows. Even has heated seats on the limited edition, high and low, and a power seat and a manual part for the back of the seat. And again, I mean, look at the seats. They're actually in really good condition to be as old as this car is with almost 200,000 miles. It's got some varicose veins right there but and a little rip here. But I'm telling you guys, that seat's actually in great shape to be this old. The steering wheel is actually in pretty decent shape as well. It's got its normal wear and tear on the top there. But you have this little thing here that looks like a cue ball from your pool, you know, your pool balls. 194,000 miles on it. Your windows are controlled here. You have a tape deck CD player. But you know, again, the reason why so many people made them company cars and fleet vehicles and rental cars is because it has a lot of room, right? I mean, got all that rear trunk space in the back. Got a ton of leg room back here. A ton of head room up top. And that's what people want, right? But also, not to forget, a small four-cylinder engine that most likely got up to 30 miles to the gallon on gas. And believe me, everybody, people are price conscious on how much money they're spending on gas when they're commuting all over the town, going back and forth to work, this, that, and the other. So to buy a car that's got space, room for the family, and gets good fuel economy, a lot of people, even though it's kind of an ugly car, would still buy it because it also had a great price range. All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and hop inside the PT Cruiser and really see how much leg and headroom there was on this car back in 03. I'm a man of six foot one in height and about 215 pounds so it gives you a little you know a little something to think about but yeah I mean actually not bad right I mean look at all the headroom up here sunroof opens up more headroom when you have a sunroof up top see if we can roll this there we go. Look at all the leg room in here. I mean, that's a lot of leg room. I mean, when you close the door, kind of not too bad. You got a spot to rest your arm at. You got a big steering wheel. You got cruise control, your lights, AC, radio. Fans are right here where they can blow right on your face, which is helpful in the hot summertime. A sunroof, leather interior. I mean, this is kind of fancy for that time and error, you know, and even today, if this car was in a lot better shape, I'm telling you, it probably would sell pretty quick. Let's go take a look in the back seats and see how well that is. You know, again, if they had Uber back in 03, you can guarantee there'd be tons of these on the road picking people up and driving them around. Now, I put the seat in the front right in the position if I were to drive the car today, and look, guys, I mean, just barely touching 
So you got great, great leg room back here for a guy that's six foot tall. Now you're pushing six, three, six, five and up. You are way out of your lead. You're gonna have to get something bigger, but plenty of headroom in the back. My only complaint back here is that there is no armrest to rest your arm at, okay? But other than that, pretty good. I mean, this is definitely not something you might wanna get in and drive an eight to 10 hour drive in, you know, if you're riding in the back, but for fuel economy, you could zip across town, go back and forth to work, and it's kind of a small car, so it'd be easy to park. All right, everybody, that concludes our review in 2019 of a 2003 Chrysler PT Cruiser. Do you really think that this was America's worst vehicle? I don't really think so, but everybody has a right to their own opinion, and what's the old saying? The old saying is, opinions are like asses. Everybody has one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share your thoughts about the PT Cruiser with us. Are you buying one today? Did you already buy one recently? Have you owned one since they were brand new? And would you buy one tomorrow at the right price? We'll see you on the next clip.